Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this morning I was going through my uh, Tim Holtz drawer and I got out the tiny people again. I think they're mini paper dolls or something. And um, as you know, I've already used them for clusters and uh, what else? Oh, mi uh, mini tags or tiny tags and tiny clusters. And I can link those two videos in the description below if you're interested. Um, yeah, so this morning I was going through those and I'm like, huh, I have a whole bunch of sitting people. And for some reason, I mostly use the standing people uh, on my like tags and things. Uh, and I never, well, I rarely use the leaning people or the sitting people because unless well, like whatever I glue them onto or stick them onto, there is like a piece of uh, paper or something it looks like they could sit on. So I was like, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to use with it, do with these. And then I also came across my Tim Holtz ticket book. Um, I have only used a very few of those tickets, but I love them. And yeah, so I had the idea of making uh like it's not a cluster, it's like a a, a tag um a ticket for sitting people. So that's one of them. These guys are leaning little brothers. These are just hanging out on this big ticket. This cute little girl is on a theater ticket. She's hanging out on a bus ticket. So yeah, I did all these this morning. It's like pretty fast mass making um, at 5 a.m. <laughs> and um, I like this one. All these gals hanging out on this big ticket. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't uh, film my video this morning because I ended up not having a lot of time and I didn't want to like whisper because I didn't want to wake my husband so I waited all day long, I waited patiently to come back into my craft room to make this video. So super easy, um, all I did or all I used was some old book pages, I have like Swedish, uh, a few Swedish book pages laying around so I just took pieces of those. Um, I used my Tim Holtz tickets, but you can use any ticket. Um, I also have, oops, all these one ones, although they're fairly small. So if you have like very small sitting people, you could probably use those. Um, and they don't have to be sitting people. Uh, you can just have them stand in front of a ticket if you want to use them with tickets. Um, and then I also added some some lace or some uh, cheese cloth, cheese cloth, and then I did some quick stitching around the tickets just to add like a finishing finishing touch. And then I added a little bit of my gold gilding wax because you know me, I always have to add add like the final little gold touch. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna make today. And I apologize for these uh, dolls reflecting the light. I tried to move my, my desk lamp, but it just, it doesn't matter where I move it, something's gonna reflect it. So I'm just gonna hold it up to show you. So we have these lovely ladies. Little cute boy sitting. These gentlemen hanging out. This one I love. Probably gonna make this for my Victorian journal. And then we have this leaning gentleman. Okay, so I just picked these uh, in preparation for my video so you don't have to watch me dig through a bazillion paper dolls. And yeah, so um, I got this either from Amazon or from Joanne Fabric. I don't remember, but I can link, I know it's still on Amazon. I can link to it in the description below. Uh, if you order it through my link, I will get a very small uh, commission at no extra cost to you. It's just Amazon sharing their their profits. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So uh, they have uh, different tags. Um, why do I keep saying tags? Tickets. So they have like the big tickets, 
the regular size small tickets. They even have smaller ones, like these ones can be torn in half. I haven't used these ones for this project yet. But yeah, so let's see. Um, for these ladies, that's probably, that's too big. Maybe I'll set these guys up here on this one. No, I feel like these are all, maybe. Okay, and then this boy can probably have like a small one. Let's see. And they're all like uh, fairly thick, like paper, let's say what they are. It just says perfor perforated um, vintage tickets. But yeah, so here you can see them all. And I really like those. <coughs> Oh, here's one of those double ones. Um, yep, I'm still coughing. However, I went to the doctor yesterday, finally. They gave me an appointment. I had to go to a different location because my doctor is on vacation. Uh, and I saw a respir respiratory uh, doctor person. And because I was concerned about my pneumonia, whether that was like has come back or not and she said my lungs sound really good and it's just leftover congestions i guess congestion and she gave me some some medication no more antibiotics yay um so yeah i am relieved that i don't have to take more uh, antibiotics because it's not good i don't want to use it for just because and um i am also very relieved that uh hmm, this one i'm very relieved that it's not pneumonia anymore because that was really scary Ugh, and i'm tired of coughing so yay almost over okay I have all my ideas like early in the morning when I get up and craft. Okay, so they can sit on this one, I think. It's gonna be weird. Do I want them on this one? Because it's only the front one sitting. Maybe I'll use a small one. Sorry, I took your your ticket, sir. Oh wait, was he sitting? He was sitting on that. Didn't I give him a different one? I guess he can have this one. Oh, yes, I still am in the frame. Okay, and then these gentlemen can sit on... Huh. I guess I'll make them sit on this big one. I can get them. Alright, so you guys need one of those. Are you gals, I should say. Ooh. Why won't you tear? Ooh. Okay, there we go. Also, I need book pages. So I have some scraps. Alrighty. So... Oh yeah, what I did first. You don't have to do that, obviously, but you know me, I always distress the edges. And you can you can see it on these tickets, so that's why I like it. Just adds a little something more. Okay. Tomorrow I have the day off. I'm so excited. Um, so I have a lot of things I want to accomplish. Uh, I have a couple of videos to film. I have a whole bunch of stuff to put on my Etsy. Hopefully I can at least get all the pictures taken. Because I need daylight for that. And then the listings I can do like in the evening when it's dark out. Uh, yeah, so you're going to see this video on Friday and... I'm filming on Thursday, which means I'm off when you see this video. 
and usually I go grocery shopping on Saturdays, but I don't have time on Saturday. I was like, I can do it Friday, and then I was like, no, I don't want to go. So I did it today, so I can have time for my uh, more fun stuff on Friday. Okay, and then what I did, I just tore pieces. Let's see what we can do here. Uh. Nope, you can have that. Okay, we need a bigger piece. I guess the little boy can have a piece too. bigger book pages. Oops, I still got one. Hmm. Oh, that's probably not gonna work. Eh, not bad. Not too bad. So, and then what I did next, I just distressed these, totally optional. Had a great week. It was uh, pretty windy all week. Tuesday with the big nor'easter. Um, Western Maine got snow, we got hail and rain, which fine by me because <laughs> I don't want any more snow. Um, yeah, and it's been windy ever since. So today's Thursday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Super windy, and this morning it was 26 degrees again, everything was frozen. I wonder when we're gonna get spring that actually stays. It's like always like, yeah, it's spring. Ah, uh, no, just kidding, it's not spring. Yeah, it's spring. Nope, not spring yet. Okay, but I'm sure a lot of you know what it's like because it also happens in other states. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got these guys. Okay, and then oh, I got my little scrap thingy, thingamajig. Let's see. Um, use some cheesecloth. And I don't measure anything or or plan anything it's just random random pieces i think these ladies will get this lovely lace the gentlemen get the cheesecloth um the little boy mm, that might be a little too big it might be a little too small <laughs> let's just give him this okay so, and then these lovely ladies can have some of this. Okie dokie. And then these get one too. Okay, 
goody now we can glue so um what i did first i actually glued these on oh, i gotta move my leg my leg's asleep i move i glued these on to the um tickets first so i like lined them up to see where i want them to sit and then i try to remember where i would put the glue so everywhere up to here and if it go a little too high you can just wipe it off which reminds me i bought wipes today and i left them upstairs gotta get them downstairs come on yeah my glue is brown because my needle is rusting i have a, a rusty needle can't find the needle that I had that like, goes with this that doesn't rust. So I have rusty glue. Not the end of the world. Alright, so. And then we're going to have them sit down. Right about here. Oops. Perfect. Okay. Just use a tissue. Okay, so they can dry a little bit and then we can do the next ones. These are all gonna sit on this bus ticket. So these three are standing, but I gotta line this up with the two front ladies that are sitting. Actually, she's sitting too. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. to do it and then these gentlemen Wednesday, August 27th, it's 1941. What is that? Oh, it's a bus ticket. Ah, we're crooked. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then once you, like... They're all done. You can. I didn't even mention it. You can uh, glue them on a on a page in your journal, or you can put them on a tag, or in a pocket, or like any anywhere as an embellishment. So lots of different uh, things or uses. He is really cute, Senate dear. Yeah, it would be helpful helpful if I told you what you can use these on. <laughs> or I can just make them for fun. Or I can just give them to your friends. Crafty friends. And this guy. So here we only put glue in the middle, not on his feet and not on the top. Okay. What's the arm? Okay. So last, uh, I think it was Sunday, I don't remember, Sunday or Monday, uh, yeah, one of those days, I was in the backyard, I was feeding my ducks, and my dog was outside too, and I walk up next to the garage where the, the garden hose is, like the faucet is, and I was going to turn it off, and all of a sudden I had two big dogs standing in front of me that I've never seen before, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are they doing here? Uh, my dog was around the corner. He didn't realize there were other dogs. So I 
ran and put him inside because I did not want him to meet two strange dogs because two is already a, a pack and then could get dangerous quickly. Uh, yeah, anyway, so they were in my yard and then they ran away and I went out front to see where they came from and they were running up and down the street and we live on a state route, like a state road that has quite a bit of traffic and they just run up and down the road and I tried to catch them. Some people pulled over because a pickup truck almost hit them. I, nobody could catch the dogs and then they ran up the mount at the hill. It's like, okay, I guess they're going home. Well, guess what? This morning I come home from daycare, I almost hit the brown one. There's a black and white one and a brown one. And I almost hit the brown one and they're again running up and down the street and I have no idea where they came from. And the cars all had stopped like from the other side they all had stopped and had their hazard lights on because nobody like knew where they came from and nobody wanted to run them over so I got out and tried to catch the brown one he wouldn't let me catch him obviously but he had a blue collar so they I, that makes me think they were not abandoned but they're just running around on the road which is super dangerous uh I'm just worried that they get hit um yeah so anyway couldn't catch him, so I kept drive. like, went home, it was like a few hundred feet from my driveway. Um, and then I messaged our town's Facebook page, because our the town manager manages that and posts stuff all the time. So I said, hey, can you post something? Because they've done this before, when someone's missing a dog or found a dog, or there were two cows on the loose on my street. Uh, they post it all the time and I said hey can you let people know there's these dogs so the owner maybe can find out because nobody knows where these dogs belong I don't want them to get hurt and I almost hit one he read my message and completely ignored it nothing no reply nothing didn't post anything I'm like well thank you <laughs> uh, yeah so all right, so we got all these taken care of. So now what I would do, uh, let's look at these. Uh, I have, I would just see how I wanna put the, the paper. Hmm. Nope. Nope. How the heck did I have it? <laughs> no, I don't remember. That's weird. I'll just do it this way. Okay. Oh no, I have this for I had this on top, okay. Okay, how about we start with a small one that's easier, because <laughs> the, these pieces don't really go well together. Okay, so what I did, I just put some glue, just a little bit, so I could um, stick the cheesecloth down any, any way, any, doesn't matter how you line it up, and then you just glue this gentleman on there. So now I can put the glue on his feet up to his shoulders. So yeah, I hope the dog owners will realize that their dogs have been running around the neighborhood or they start caring that their dogs are actually doing that because first of all, they can cause bad accidents because people go fast on this road. And second, you don't want to get your dogs run over by cars or trucks. Okay. And then, depending on where it, like it's still peeling off, you can just add some more glue. Are we still filming? Yes. Okay. And that's it. Super easy. And then, again, I would just stitch a little bit here and there, just for finishing touches. Alrighty, let's do this cutie. Yeah. Got this, ugh, these pieces from that 
cheesecloth stuck everywhere. Okay, and then these lovely ladies. I cannot believe it, this fly is still here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's living forever. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Did I do it wrong? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, see, I put too much glue up here. Probably not enough on the bottom. But we can fix that. Oops. Let's do this one. Okay, and now we go back to these lovelies. Gotta figure something out here. I guess I'll just glue them on here. Hello, cat. She has been really good uh, yesterday morning and this morning. She did not meow all like all morning. 
I made sure I filled her food bowl all the way up. And get her water. <laughs> yeah, but now she wants to come in. Not right now, Peppy. All right, okay, so. Oops. Here we go. Now we can finally get this glue oh. closed. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry real quick and then I'm gonna do a little bit of stitching just to make it look nice and add some gold and then they're done and they can be used for, oh, there's more, they can be used for embellishing. It doesn't have to be for junk journals, it can be for anything and they're really fun to make. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even know how many made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So yeah, that goes pretty quick. Ta-da-da-da! -da -da. So here I just stitched down here, put a little bit of gold on it. Here I also only stitched down here. Uh, with the other ones, I had more uh, book pages overlapping the tickets, uh, so I was able to stitch some more, but I think it's fine. It's just a teeny tiny bit of, I don't know, extra texture or interest. Here I did here and here, and then on this one just on the bottom. Isn't he adorable? And then for these lovely ladies, I put one up here and then a little bit of stitching down here and I can trim this off. Yep, so I hope I hope you like these and I hope it'll uh, inspire you to make some too if you have any of these supplies. Um, you don't have to use, again, you don't have to use Tim Holtz tickets if you have any other tickets. That works too. I just thought it was funny to have people sit on tickets um, and then also if you maybe have any other paper dolls they also don't have to be the sitting ones they can just stand in front of the ticket and I'm probably gonna make some uh, standing people in front of tickets as well I just thought it was a funny funny idea funny and fun idea to make sitting people on tickets yeah so let me know what you think in the comments below um, I hope you like the video. Leave me a thumbs up if you do. Um, that just lets me know that you like you like my ideas and want to see more. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!